In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a GitHub repository from your Replit project. This process will take just around five minutes, so let's dive right in and get started. First things first, you need to log in to your Replit account. If you haven't signed up for one yet, it's easy to create an account. You'll want to have that ready because Replit is where we'll begin our journey. Next, once you're logged in, click on the Apps section. This option should be easily locatable on your dashboard. Now what you want to do is open the specific Replit project that you've been working on or the one you wish to connect to GitHub. Make sure you've got your project all prepped and ready because that's what will be pushed to your GitHub repository. With your project open, you're going to look for the All Tools icon on the left sidebar or head straight to the version control tab if that's available. Um, these tools are going to be crucial as they house the options we need to transition from Replit to GitHub. Within these options, you will find either Git or Connect to GitHub. Clicking on one of these will initiate the connection between your Replit project and your GitHub account. If it's your first time doing this, you might be prompted to authorize Replit to access your GitHub account. You'll want to grant the necessary permissions for this process to work seamlessly. Don't worry, this is a standard security measure to ensure your GitHub account is accessed securely. Now that GitHub is connected, you'll need to choose the Create New Repository option. This is where you're essentially telling Replit that you want to start fresh with a new repository directly on GitHub. Once you click this, you'll need to enter some details about your new GitHub repository, like its name and perhaps a brief description. This helps in organizing your repositories and makes it easier for anyone else viewing your work to understand what the project is about. After you've filled in the necessary details, go ahead and click Create. This action will establish your new repository on GitHub. It's an exciting moment because you're about to make your project accessible and backed up in one of the world's most popular code hosting platforms. Finally, the last step involves committing and pushing your Replit project files to this new GitHub repository you just created. This action effectively uploads your files from Replit to GitHub, ensuring your project is safely stored and can be shared or collaborated on with ease. And that's it. You've successfully created a GitHub repository from your Replit project. Remember, having your projects on GitHub enhances collaboration, version control, and provides a wonderful space for you to showcase your work to the developer community. Thanks for tuning in, and happy coding!